Okay, this isn't really a tutorial so much as just an interesting computer science question. I've taken the um, connectors package and created a little sample algorithm that will first draw a nice little circle of uh, nodes and then fully connect them. And this is actually very nice. Um, this is basically a, an example of a fully connected graph. And since they're all morphic widgets, you can do neat things. If, assuming I can grab it. There we go. Notice we can actually rearrange to some extent. Our morphs on the fly. Now there may be ways to make it a little better like putting the connectors into different layers so that all of these um, morphs are on top so they can be more easily grabbed. But you can see the, the, the niceness of this thing. We can actually move these around. And rearrange the node. And of course, if you actually click on one of these things, you can actually rearrange the connection too, which is very nice. It's a very neat feature of this little connectors package. But if I were to say, instead of having, well, you can see already the problem. It's since each of these is a graphical element in the graphical user interface, having, um, Let's see how many is that? 15. That's roughly 20 something of these little things with 20 squared connections. Having that many on the screen at once actually slows things down quite obviously. And if I add, say, twice that many, that's four times as many of the objects, and it slows things down more. So it's a, it's a classic optimization problem that I, I think people might find interesting to, to work on, is how can we take this behavior and keep the behavior, and yet when we're only displaying things, not interfere, let me put that back, thank you very much, not interfere with the entire rest of the system. Because as I said, if we were to actually um, double the number of uh, nodes, it would create four times as many um, connections, and it would start to noticeably slow down the interface. And it's very a use, very useful little system as it stands, but it's not scalable past a certain point and this is at the edge of being where it can be scaled. So I like people to think about just what could be done. What kind of um, reconfiguration of the objects could be done. We would keep the uh, these graphical widgets, the uh, connectors widgets handy but when they're not being moved around, they would actually be replaced by some kind of bitmap. But what's the best way to do that? Anyway, just food for thought.